The scribe Laywise in Remnant 2's new DLC, The Awakened King, has some pretty cool dialogue. He's a pretty interesting character, in my opinion, and he's got quite a few rewards that you can get from him by completing different tasks, which I'm going to show you in this video. And one of them actually ties in with the base game. You'll find Laywise sitting just outside the first dungeon if you hug the left side down into the sewers when you spawn in on the forlorn coast. And he's dressed up as a Dran, but you can see those fey wings under his outfit. And it's pretty obvious that he's just wearing a little costume trying to blend in with the Dran. If you bug him a few times, he'll finally let you talk to him or you can wait until you come back out from the dungeon. I find it interesting that he starts out as a crafter and then he says, who am I kidding? And then he turns it into a shop and just sells you the items instead. I don't know if there's something more to that. It seems kind of interesting. However, when he finally turns into a shop is when you're going to be able to get your first item. He sells a few consumables, but nothing new from the base game. And then the first time you talk to him, he's also going to have a ring that you can purchase for 500 scrap, the Atonement Fold. Now this ring is probably the best ring to come out of the DLC. It self-inflicts bleeding status upon the wearer. It causes 1.1 bleed damage per second and increases your critical chance by 10%. Now this bleed you can counteract simply by using the Tranquil Heart or if you have any health regen. And there are a couple other items that you can wear that are going to give you a benefit because you're suffering from a negative status effect. For instance, you can get full five stacks of Bulwark, which is 25% damage reduction just because you are bleeding. That ring is called Hardcore Metal Band. Taking damage adds a stack of Bulwark, which individually falls off after 10 seconds, max five stacks. You'll be constantly constantly at five stacks and the atonement fold. So that's a pretty powerful combo. Another really great combo that I like to use with Atonement Fold is the Neckbone Necklace. It gives you 25% increased damage when suffering from a status effect. If you're going for a crit build, the Nightweaver's Grudge is a really great amulet as well with this ring because you're going to gain 20% critical chance and haste within 50 meters of an entity suffering from a status effect, which is you, so you're always within 50 meters of it. It will be constantly active. And then of course, there's also Alchemy Stone if you want to increase your lifesteal while suffering from a negative status effect and blood tinged ring which will give you two health regen per second when within 10 meters of a bleeding entity which is yourself so that's the first and easiest item that you can get from Laywise the scribe for the next couple you're gonna have to go and get his memoir so you want to make your way to the castle and there are a few areas where it can spawn this is one of them it can also spawn just outside the shortcut door so make sure you peek out there as well but once you have the memoir there's a few things you can do with it you'll notice that you can interact with it if you move it around and you can open it up and pull out a medallion however you can get an amulet if you don't touch it whatsoever and just bring it back to the scribe so you don't want to open it don't interact with it bring it back to the scribe and he is going to give you the index of the scribe i haven't found a really good use for this yet but i think you could have a pretty cool hunter build with this amulet if you're really good at getting those weak spots and also remember that the turret does weak spot, your summons do weak spot, etc. So there could be something interesting there as well. All right, the next two items have to do with the medallion. So once you look at the memoir and you turn it to interact with the clasp, open up the book, there's going to be a medallion inside of that book. You're going to pull the medallion out and now you have the medallion with no book. You can do two things with this. You can take it back to the scribe and immediately hand it over after telling him, is this your medallion? I took it from a tome and then you can give it straight to him. If you do that, he's going to give you a burden of the Cialist, I guess is how you say Say it. This ring removes ammo reserves by 25% and increases mod and skill damage by 15%. So this can kind of go with that index of the scribe. The second thing that you can do with the medallion is go back to the scribe. And when he asks you about the medallion, you're going to want to tell him that you have it, but then you're going to want to say, uh, never mind. I think I might keep it for myself. It sounds really important. You basically want to be very wishy washy with the medallion. Like you don't know if you want to give it to him or not because he really really wants it. So you can get him to kind of up the ante of the reward that you're going to get. Basically just keep saying no. You can even back out fully and say never mind and leave the whole conversation and then go back into the conversation and say 
all right, fine, now I'll give it to you, he's going to actually change the reward that you get, which is pretty crazy. I don't think we've seen anything like that in Remnant yet. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. This is for the Ring of Infinite Damage. This is going to increase your fire rate by eight, which is a lot. So if you're really into high fire rate weapons, archetypes like Gunslinger and Hunter, then this is going to be a great ring for you. The third thing that we can do with the medallion is going to be actually in the castle. So you can do this on one of your runs when you're not going to go back to the scribe. Use it on the door in the chamber of the faithless. This is on one of the sides of the king's throne room. So you're going to look for just a little side door. It looks like kind of a library with lots of bookshelves and stuff. There's going to be a big castle door and you're going to be able to put the bookbound medallion into that door to open it. So you can do this when you're not going to be going back to the scribe, but this is going to unlock the door and reward you with the paper heart relic. This relic says on use heals for up to 100% of your current health over 0.25 seconds, gain one stack per 10% health restored. After 15 seconds, remove 10% health per stack and kills remove one stack. So this is for someone that kind of wants to bet their life that they're going to get some kills and you really wouldn't want to use this in a boss fight. So I don't see this being super helpful unless they come out with some kind of horde mode in Remnant, which could be really cool. But that is how you get the paper heart. And then there's a lot of lore books and stuff around in that room as well, if you're interested in that. Okay. Kind of gives you it kind of gives you a little bit of a backstory on Laywise the scribe. If you visited his room in your playthrough and used the medallion on the door, you can go back to the scribe and talk to him and basically say, I saw your lair, I saw all the stuff in there, I read all the books, and you got some stuff going on. And he's gonna say, Please don't tell anybody, please be quiet about it, and you're actually gonna get 750 scrap from him. So if you're looking for some scrap, then definitely do that little extra bit. But that part's kind of just like an extra little bribe. And then and the last thing that you can do with Laywise the Scribe is actually part of the base game. So you're going to want to go and find the Great Hall, which is a castle dungeon where you find the guy sitting in the banquet hall and you have to eat the nasty moldy food to get your health regen and kill some stuff. It's also where you can get the glutton trait if you are in co-op. I actually have a video on that if you're curious how to do it, but it's super simple. Either way, for this achievement, you're going to need to go talk to the Feastmaster at the Great Hall. So you need to go through the dungeon and grab the Feastmaster medallion, take it down to the beginning, open the door, and then go talk to the Feastmaster in there. You don't need to complete the actual dungeon event if you don't want to. However, you do need to talk to the Feastmaster and he's going to talk about the scribe and tell you that he has something for you to give him. He says he wants him to eat it and that he will thank me, etc. He's going to give you a new quest item called the Feastmaster's Leftovers. It looks like a nasty bag of rotten food. You're gonna go back to the scribe and hand the Feastmaster's nasty leftovers over to him. And he's gonna be a little bit reluctant and he's going to be a little bit reluctant about it. He's not going to want to eat these leftovers because they look and probably taste pretty nasty. So you need to keep encouraging him to eat it over and over until he actually accepts it and says, okay, fine, I'll take this. And then he's going to give you a reward in return. This is the glass bead ring, which says perfect dodge applies a shield for 15% of max health last 10 seconds and it can't stack with itself. All right, guys, that that is it for all the rewards from the scribe. There are quite a few of them, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking forward to more Remnant 2 secrets and guides here on the channel, make sure to subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.